do occur, that's when you need your goaltender to come up huge. On that play, Chris Terring didn't even look. He just thought that the wall was safe to put it there. Unfortunately, right out of the stick of a Boston Bruin, the result was a good scoring chance, but Hextall again stacks the pads and remains scoreless. It was an area of the game in Colorado that Terry Murray was not particularly pleased with, but a few turnovers by the Flyers in their own zone, and he's hoping the club can avoid it. Feeding talent, and the Flyers lead it 1-0. of the Flyers this year has been the ability to win the majority of the face-offs. And when you win one in the offensive zone, the way Joel Otto did in that play, that sets up a screenshot from the point. And Samuelson makes no mistake. He's able to stride into it. And it looked like Talent opened those legs a little bit prematurely, and it went right through the five hole. And what a way to start here at the Core State Center. Samuelson will get credit for his fourth. Joel Otto should get the only assist. Flyers dumping the puck in, but it hops up over the glass and out of play. You know, a lot of teams looking at the Flyers' attack, they have had 304 more shots than the opposition, averaging 32 and a half shots a game. So you've got to cut down that shot total in order to have a chance against this hockey club. But one of the... Ah! The former Boston Bruin able to haunt his ex mates Philadelphia. Now the fans here are enjoying it. They're giving the Flyers a standing ovation. Lacroix on the goal here. Now watch how the Flyers use the back of the net very effectively. Not challenged. And John LeClaire sets up Lacroix perfectly. Both defensemen watching LeClaire behind the net. And Lacroix just moves in. He's checked from behind. Hey, you're not going to stop anybody unless you get in front of them. Bruins not able to do it, and they fall behind by two. Coming into this season, Daniel Lacroix had a grand total of three goals. He now has four this season alone. As he picks up number four, the Boston Bruins and head coach Steve Casper have called timeout. He wants his club to regroup. He is obviously not a happy man right now. Here's a wonderful view again. Look at Daniel Lacroix getting positioning on uh, number 32, Don Sweeney. And when you are moving forward and somebody is behind you, the only chance that Bruins would have had there, Sweeney has grabbed the stick or lifted the stick. He didn't either. So Lacroix gives the Flyers a two-goal lead. Makes it 3-0 Philadelphia. Watch right here as the Bruins are coming out of their zone. All right, let it go. And here's the poke check. Stop it right there. Oh, there's the puck. And immediately it'll be the transition where Podin just slip it over to Joel Otto. And he just rifles it to the far side. The turnover, a quick pass. The Flyers have three. Oh, Joel Otto picks up his eighth of the year. He's been a steady contributor during the streak of late. John Bodine, who helped him out, taking a seat beside him on the bench. Bodine getting the only assist at 13.54. Great nothing flyer. What are we saying about the first game back from the long road trip being a tough one? You always have to beware, but <laughs> flyers don't believe in it. Turn over, Lindros, shut it down! You don't see that often. Ray Bork turning it over. Lindros capitalizes. Keep them coming. 4-0 Philadelphia. Look at the expression on Coach Casper's face. He can't believe what's happening. So just mark that down, folks. 17 straight games, registering at least one point, Eric Lindros. But there's the turnover, and Lindros makes no mistake. Boy, you cannot give guys of the talent of a Lindros chances like that, and he makes no mistake. 4 nothing. Lindros with a four-game goal streak going as well. And you mentioned 17 straight with a point. One game short of the club record. Bobby Clark happened to have that record. I was just going to say, Jim, the, the Flyers scored the first three goals, and the Lindros line has not been a part of it. That's that balance scoring. I never did get those words out, and he took care of that in a hurry. He did indeed. Samuelson, Lacroix, Otto, Lindros. 4-0 Philadelphia. Otto and Lindros' goal separated by just 19 seconds. Now watch Ray Bork trying to go up the middle. It actually hits the stick of John LeClaire, who slowed it down considerably, and it was just sitting. 
Like a duck on the pond, and Lindros made no mistake. They did give LeClaire an assist, his second in the game. 